Hello everybody, welcome back to Birth of the Wild. I think this is the person I need to talk to. I've heard you speaking with the Elder. Yeah, sounds like you intend to help my husband Tiba, Taba, Taba, in the fight against Mado. But to tell you the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Okay, where did he go then? Headed to a place called the Flight Range. Alright, it's in the Dronox Pass, oh, the place where we, where we were, there, there was no one at. Sweet. It's a place where Rito warriors prepared for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Mado. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. But... If you take off from uh, Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the flight range. It's a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali. So named in the hopes that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, hey, memory! Sweet. Impressive. Okay. Oh. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet Humble one. these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness sealing sword on your back. Know your place, maggot. It's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. What a dick. Good luck sealing the darkness. What a dick. All right. Well, that was interesting, I suppose. Descendant, descendant. Uh, I'm not a descendant. I am the champion. Sorry. Fear I've said far too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Nah, I get it. Your champion was a dick. Uh, your husband's probably his son or grandson. And I'll probably hate him too. Um, let's see, it's in... Uh, that direction. Uh... No? Uh, oh, I'm looking in the complete wrong direction. Oh, I bet it's by that... Yeah, it's by this one. Alright, fast travel. Sweet. Don't have to worry about flying over there, at least. Alright. Back at the flight range. Uh, I don't... I think we have been in this place. I don't remember if I cut that part. I don't think I cut that part. hey -o. There you are. Hello, I forget what your name is. I thought he might be blue, but I guess not. Guess color isn't transmitted. Yeah. Rito Warrior. Hello. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. You know, he could be a dick, but it also kind of seems like he's pretty mellow and pretty, uh... Just, like, no nonsense. Swallow bow. Apparently I needed a bow, so hey, we'll take it. 
Sorry, I'm a champion. Yeah, I can help you. Help me? With what? Valmedo? Meadow? Medow? Yeah. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Root of... Yeah, I'm not buying it. What's your name? Link. I'm the champion. Tiba. You already knew that. Yep, I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? That's pretty much right. Uh, trust any fool wandering into town. Well, I have a Sheikah Slate, and apparently that's all it takes to trust people. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rita warrior, I cannot rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to the Rito village, and that is once, yeah, once he falls from the sky. If I have to kill Meadow, uh, I don't think you can kill that which has no life. Then let's get started. Are you serious? Yes. Well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. Uh, if someone's actually on the ledge about to jump, you should probably try and talk them out of it. But it's as the Elder said, the only way to stop the Divine Beast is to get inside it. Yuck, yuck. Master Roshi's heh goes here. Hello. Hi. Actually, um, you're brainless too. Yeah, sure, let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, and the rest of Hyrule, they all died hundreds of years ago. Hadn't been for Ganon, yeah, yeah, I... Link needs to open his big fat mouth and say, I am that person! He's done it before. If we approach Meadow recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updrafts in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over their head and float up easily. Luckily for me, I have said such cloth. One such cloth. Now, let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to d maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. I'm ready. You can go destroy five targets with your arrows. I will do that. And it will be far faster than three minutes. I guarantee. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, let's go with the knight's bow. Alright, slow-mo. Uh, well, that one wasn't far enough. Alright. Bow out. Do that. Oh, wow, that actually hit. That's nice. Alright, this one should be good. That one should be good. Oh, really? The one's just right here? It took me 16 seconds. 16 seconds. They were really expecting people to not be very good at that. Like, jeez. If it was as time stopped with every arrow you let fly. Yeah, pretty much. Gotta tell you, when you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. I can tell you a real deal, you must know have seen a battle or two. Uh, hundreds of them. You know, on one hand, I feel like Link would say hundreds of them, not to be arrogant, but just to say, you know, naively, like, yeah, I've seen hundreds, hasn't everybody? Um, hundreds of them. I believe it. Oh, okay, cool. He believed it. I feel I've heard that name before. Yeah, you have. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Mado, it's now or never. I'll get you into position so you can give its cannons all you got. Inside the treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it and let me know when you're ready. Oh. Oh, right. I probably... Falcon bow. Nice. And my inventory's full. Of course it is. Well, I'll just drop this bow we have because it's terrible. It's my worst bow. Uh, It's actually not my worst bow. Actually, the swallow bow. Swallow bow. Drop that one, then. That one's useless. I figured with a special cool name and cool looking bow, it'd be better than that. This one too, come to think of it. All right. Uh, let's see, falcon bow. All right, let's go. Time to face the divine beast. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You'll need to hit them with bomb arrows. Yeah, all right. Oh, well, thanks for the bomb arrows. And it's gonna be cold up there. Well, I already got, uh, I, I, I already got warm clothes on, so let's go. Let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Uh, uh, to rescue Zelda. But that's the name of the princess. Uh, served a hunt. Yeah. 
I don't know what she has to do with this, but whatever. As long as you're helping me bring down Mido, your motivation is fine by me. Right. Get on. Hooray! We got our own bird. It's not gonna last, but you know, shoot. I should probably should probably should have changed the bomb arrows first, because I had a feeling I was gonna need bomb arrows, but I wasn't sure exactly which kind. Hmm. All right, showtime. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna freeze up here. All right. The, his nose and actually kind of looks like uh, the ancient short sword. Has its barrier up again. What a pain. What's wrong? Too scared? Nah, I don't just... I just don't talk. Let's get it over with. Yeah, I see the cannons. While doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Yeah, I got it. Spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft. For a while, I'll take that as a sign that we need to regroup. Don't bother aiming for anything covered by Mado's shield. It's impenetrable. Of course it is. Whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. I already have it. Already wearing it. Uh, let's go. Alright. I'll blow up those cannons. Uh, wait, I already have bomb arrows selected? Oh, it may probably already, or, uh, automatically selected them. When, uh, he gave them to me. Wow. Well, this is going... Not so great. Oh, wow, they have health. Duh. Go figure. Well, that one's done. So convenient of them to have an updraft. Wow. I, I couldn't tell if that uh, blew up just because it got near me or what. Do other, uh, other ones do that, I wonder? All right, one and two. That's destroyed. I probably have, what, two more? One on this side and one on the back? Well, this is fun. I guess I'm as high as I can go right here. Convenient of it to not be flying around. And done. One more. Yep, one more. I was gonna say, I didn't hear the other two. I, or him speaking to tell me how many more I had left. Alright, and one, and two, and one, and two. Alright. That was easy. And, of course, they all wait to blow up at the exact same time. Well, that's kind of terrifying. Well done, Link. That thing is history. Well, there's where the boss battle battle's going to take place. How many of these do I drop on from Sailcloth? There's the Salamander guy. This one. Is he tired? the hell? What the hell was that? Oh. Bad news, Link. Looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. Good back there. By what? I think I need to get back to the flight range. Uh, yeah, just go back to the village. I can make it back. You head down to Meadow. Meadow, okay. Good luck. It's all you. Yeah, I knew it was going to be all me from the moment this started. Because it's been all me for the last three of them. Alright, well, it'll be interesting to see what the gimmick for this guy is. Alright, gave me my fast travel point. Woohoo! Well now, I've seen that face before. Yep. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Not my fault. 
I didn't have any say in the matter. No, why? No. Why else would I be here, asshole? Jeez. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Easy enough. Maybe. I've proven several. Well, the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? I've made it into every other map room, so yes. Even though it's taken me a while on some of them. All right, off of bomb arrows. And woof, that thing's dead. Nice. All right, poof. It went away. Uh, okay, that takes me upstairs. I know. Oh. Let's see. Can I ping it in the eye from here? Not exactly. Actually didn't fall quite as far as I thought it would. Ow. Ping. Hey, at least I got it in the last one. So, I mean, that's something, right? Alright, you stay there. So go over here. Move this one. Or not. Okay then. I guess I'll move this one over here then. Alright. Don't need that. I'll take those. Give me the map. Of course it's right and it's behind its eyes. It's a nice place for the map room, I think. Sheikah Slate Authenticated, Distilling Map of Divine Beast. Yay, it's got a splooge all over my device. I gotta get it replaced. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Sploosh. Alright, so what's the gimmick of this Divine Beast? Alright, one, two, three, four, five locations. Uh, probably the where its uh, wings are tilted. All right, sweet. I can now manipulate it to my heart's content. You'll need to look closely at your map of the divine beast. Yeah, I get it. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. Yeah, I know. You need to activate all of the terminals to take. Think you're up to it. This is the only problem with having go wherever you want and do the dungeons in whatever order. In every single one, you have to have the little tutorial thing up, other because you don't know what what. Uh, where they're going, you know, what order they're going to do it in. Please don't be weapons. I don't need weapons. Bomb arrows. Those are nice. Okay. Um, Can I get back up from here? Without manipulating it? Probably not. Uh, Alright, well, down we go. What is that? Oh. Alright, where's the thing I gotta shoot at? Nowhere? Okay. Whoop, there's one. I wonder if that'll just destroy that over there, too. Hello? Nope, it didn't. Whatever, I got a chest. Please don't be a weapon. Ancient shaft. Alright, cool. Not really deserving of a uh, chest, I think, but whatever. So what's out here? Actually, I need to destroy that. Aw, oh, man. There we go. That's taken care of. This looks nice. That looks nice. Okay. Probably requires me to tilt the thing. Uh, that's okay. I want to do whatever I can without tilting it first. Uh, which doesn't look like as much, really. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Let's go... Oh, there's an eye for some more goop. Oh, this is the other side already. I thought I was only like halfway there. Anything back here? Probably not. Nope. Okay, well... Uh, oh, there's another eyeball to shoot. Wink. Uh, I was gonna say, is it gonna do anything? Oh, that's cool. Alright, back inside I want to try and get that chest. Uh, let's see... Should be in the district. Yeah, right there. See where this takes me. Probably back to where I was. Whee! 
Uh, is that as high as it goes? Nope. It'll go to a different floor. Alright. Please make that. Please make that! Oh, come on. I can make that. That was just dumb. Grab it! Damn it! No! You suck! I should be able to make that. I really should. Oh, well, this isn't exactly where I wanted to go. That's okay. I'm probably not going to be able to get that anyway. Alright, what's up here other than the map room? Um... Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some aerial type stuff for the boss at the very least. Given these vents and such. Okay. Uh, I've been kind of putting it off just because I kind of wanted to wait. But let's see what this tilt does. Oh, that's where it's at. Tilt up. Oh boy. That's kind of what I thought would happen. Oh boy. Oh jeez, oh boy. Um, okay. That didn't twist out there. It looked like there was a platform to walk around on its nose. Whoops. Alright, what did that do to underneath here? It just tilted everything to the side. Alright. Alright, that made that a lot easier to get to. Pull out your bow, damn it. There we go. And what's in here? Please, no weapon. Ancient core. Nice. I could use the big ancient cores, but, you know, whatever. Interesting. Oh, there it is. I was going to say. There's got to be something in there. I don't remember. Could I have gotten to this place before? And I just didn't notice? What is this? Oh, I need to place a bomb. And the bluey. And that does what for me? Nothing? Looks like there's a that trench goes that way. Nice. And blow up. Sweet. Ah, okay, I'm seeing how this is gonna work. Okay. Now that that's done, we'll Tilt the bird this way. Um. Oh, interesting. There's wind coming in from the inside there. Alright, I'm going to have to do that when it's faced the other way. Can I do this through here? Nice, I can. Okay. So I'll put that right here in the trench there. Uh, let's open back up the map, move it, the bird the other way. And that should go up against what looks like a springboard on the other side and open this gate, most likely. Alright, that, yep, that's it. Okay, can I get over here from here? I can. Not sure how that's how I was supposed to get over there, but hey, I'll take it. A royal claymore. Uh, I guess I'll just drop this double axe. I mean, that claymore is better than this axe, so. Interesting that the master sword's glowing right here. I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, I understand when it's in the middle of a boss fight, but whatever. Cool, I suppose. Royal claymore with extra durability. All right. This is our first one. And then four more to go. She can slate authenticated. Terminals remaining. Still a ways to go. Yeah, yeah, asshole, I get it. Anything in here? Nope. Alright. Well that was fun. Oh, oh. Interesting. Oh, there's another one there. Whoa! Alright. 
Do I want to tilt it the other way, maybe? Um, let's tilt it normal. Actually, that's probably how I want to do it. Alright, and that should blow me over here. Nice, number two. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. Surprised he didn't try to stop me from continuing on. Alrighty then. Okay. Uh, now let's tilt this this way. That way I can uh, uh, glide from here to over there. Okay. That's easy. Um, oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Alright, let's knock this thing out of the sky. Or off the ceiling, I guess, as it, as it were. Okay. So I want this to rotate this way. Let's pull this over here, because it'll slide out of the way. And I probably need it to keep this other uh, gate from falling over. Just for just to see. Well, it didn't stop spinning, so I guess we can't see. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Don't need that anymore. Terminal number three. There are two terminals remaining. You're almost there. Wow, way to say sounds so condescending. I don't know if it's just because I've done more, uh, or if it's just, or I've done three of these already, and this is my fourth one or what, but, uh, getting pretty efficient at these. Um, or ice arrows. It might just be that this one, you know, um, plays to my strengths as a puzzle solver, I guess. Uh, okay. How do I open that one? That is the next question here. Um, let's see, go back to e uh, level. Probably don't need this over here, but I'm gonna leave it over here anyway. Um, okay, is there anything in here? Doesn't look like there's anything in here even. Um, Except that one is there. Oh, there's one on the other at the other end of the wing too. Oh, that one looks like it's down though. Interesting. Okay. Ah, that one's right here. Um. Can I? Hmm. I'm at a loss. The wrong way. Let's tilt this way. My question, why is this on a raised platform? Uh, okay. I might have to go from the top on this one. Okay, let's go to the other side again and figure out what that's about because that's got to do something, right? Let's move that there, I guess, and then, whoops, this one in front of me. Oh, come on. It goes far enough, I can tell. There it goes. Why did it not work? Whatever. All right. Tilt the other way, please. I didn't see a way down on the other side, though, so I don't know. I don't know where that's going to go. We Alright, that worked. Okay. So, I want to fly...
from here back over this way. Alright. Is there any way to go... Oh, that's how I'm supposed to get to that chest. Um... There's no way down here, is there? Uh, fuck it. Let's see. Whoop. There it is. That's... I'm not sure if that's how I'm supposed to get to it. That's how I'm going to get to it, now that I know it's there. Or is it going to put me... Okay, good. Right here. That's good. Come on, turn around. No. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Well, that was dumb. I was running on something I shouldn't have run on and then slid off for no fucking reason. I hate how sometimes you press X and it just takes a while for the, the um, paraglider to come out. There we go. Uh, okay. Well, that's how I got here. She just could... one terminal remaining. <laughs> what do you know? Your condescendingness, sarcasm, whatever, is not appreciated. Okay. Oh, that's how you're supposed to get there. Okay. Alright, well, we'll tilt the other direction. That'll allow me to get over there, I, I would wager. Hmm, still wondering what those are for. Okay, this is not exactly going the way I'd planned. But hey, whatever, I didn't fall off. I can just even out the wings and get back on there. Someday. Alright. Well, that's cool, I suppose. Um, That's got to be something there, right? I mean... What's this supposed to do? Is this supposed to just be a platform to jump from to get over to that, that uh, terminal? I don't know. Alright, the last one is on the other side of this bird's wing. And I don't know how to get in there. Uh, that's probably how. Okay, uh, let's move my wings this way. Yep, that's the way to go. Nope, nope, I'm supposed to jump off of this platform over here. I just don't know what those are for then. Are they just there? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, well, here we go. Hopefully I can make it. Looks like I can. Alright, sweet. Looks like you're supposed to use those to ride across, but you know what? No one cares about that shit. Last terminal. That was the last terminal. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well, lap to it. I would if you'd stop talking. Jesus. Okay. So now we'll hop into this little cart thingy. Move the wings up, or at least relative to where I'm at now. And this should take me back over there. I'll even out the wings and we'll go fight this boss. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it might. So that's cool. Whee! Ow. I'm pretty sure that would knock anybody over. Wow, I have 128 frost arrows. That's not bad. Okay, back to the map. Whoops, nope. Even out. There we go. Alright, so I want to jump up here and let it take me all the way to the top. Whee! It's not going very fast, but wee! Alright, here we are. Being flying, you would think uh, shock arrows would be good, right? 
Uh, shock arrows. Uh, as for my weapon, I want to use the Master Sword. And here we go. Yep. And who couldn't see that coming after four dungeons? Three dungeons, I guess. Since we've only seen this three times. Well, this is the fourth time, so whatever. Semantics, doesn't matter. We knew it was going to happen. Would you materialize already? Jeez. Okay. Wind Blight, Ganon. Interesting. Good luck. That thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. Of course it does. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. <laughs> I'm actually saying this. You must avenge me, Link. God, what a jerk. So, can I hit it in its hands there? Watch yourself. Ow. Get up, Jesus. Oh, wow. Uh. Okay. Keep walking backwards or not. Hit it in the eye. Hit it in the eye. I stopped him from attacking, I guess. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. At least it looks like that just goes straight. Oh, crap. Are you just going to stay at orb until I get far enough away? Ow! You would think, if I have an arrow knocked and ready to go, that it would let be let loose when I got hit. But no, it just takes it away. It's like, I've pulled the bow, and it's like... Like, just, 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 just let the arrow fly. I mean, why not? That one worked, except it didn't hit him in the eye. I want to be stunned, so we'll fall to the ground. Uh, let's not use the falcon bow. Oh, jeez, five? You know what? Fuck it. Let's use a savage Lionel bow. Because it lets five go at once. Damn! Oh, okay. Well, that didn't hurt as much as I thought it might. Um, Food. Eat. All right. Damn, the five arrows did it. Ah, oh, man, the Master Sword's so good against these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, it has so much hair. It's crazy. It's like a red-haired version of Super Saiyan 3. Oh, great. I don't know what those do. Well, okay. That was... I still don't know what those things are doing, but... Whatever, I'll just... Okay, what the hell? And that didn't hurt very much, but... And he flew away. Of course he is. Just... Okay, get up, damn it. Alright, this sh should be good. Uh, I just need one more hit. Alright, these arrows should be good. Yep, there we go. Nice. Glad I thought to use those sav Savage Lionel bows. It's like, what else would I use them for? I'm holding on to them because they do dumb tons of damage. So what would I hold on to them for if not for these bosses? I'm not sure what you're supposed to do on those boss that boss fight, but whatever. I did it. It worked. Gross. Now is that just the calamity stuff? Is it like oil? Is it blood? 
What is that stuff? I need to know if I should be grossed out or not. You have now been avenged. Whatever your name was that I forgot. Another heart container. Woo! Hooray! Yay! And we didn't even have to do four shrines for it. Once you activate the main control unit, you will be unable to re-enter. I don't care. Get me the hell out of here. After a cutscene, of course. Having a terrible bout of restless legs right now. Like, ugh, I can't. I'll be plucked. <laughs> that can be arranged. Who would have thought? Uh, me. Zelda. Rivali. Hello, Rivali. Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. No one else could a do it. Warrior worthy of my unique ability, the sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale. Cause you're arrogant that way. No one else had to go all Dragon Ball Z yelling to power up their ability, dude. You don't have to show off. I mean, Dragon Ball Z is cool and all, but come on. It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. Yes, it is. If you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle, feel free to thank me now. I'll wait until I know I've actually needed your help. Or never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. Yeah, I know. Stop telling me shit, I already know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. Yep. God, what do I do about these three other zones I have left? Do I live stream them? Do I just explore them on my own? What do I do here? So that, I was wondering why that was such an oddly shaped rock there. I don't know how it holds its weight, but okay. I feel like that, that rock should break off. And that's number four. Meadow sights are now set. You'll have a precise bead on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. How are you artfully I patient? You'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. Ask Mifa how long she's been waiting. Eh. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope no 
no luck holds out like no luck here dude all skill sake. all right sweet number four down we can go to the castle if we want could have gone to the castle at the ver from the very beginning but you know Yeah. Yeah, Rivali's Gale. Create an upward draft that carries you into the air. Activate by charging jump with X. Uh. Oh, hey Zelda. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us. And the spirits of the champions are free. Yeah. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. A clash, huh? It's kind of odd, uh, odd thing. There are four divine beasts. You've reclaimed the four divine beasts by defeating the four Ganon phantoms haunting them. You should let Impa know of your success. Oh, okay. I, I now kn I know what this is going to lead to. Um... But we'll save that for next time. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Leave a comment letting me know why you made the decision you did. And to tell me anything else you might want to tell me. Um, check out me playing Twilight Princess. Uh, that's up on the screen right now. Check out the rest of the channel for some other Zelda playthroughs and other games. Uh, click on the subscribe button on the right there if you haven't subscribed already to see my next video. And I hope to see you in said next video.